fun start to the, the game last time. Um, we're in Boletaria, we rescued our uh, new friend, and uh, I've made some notes on based on the intro of the game. So I guess we're going to have to go to each of these regions to take down a former champion who's had their soul taken by the demons. So we've got... Uh, Bior of the Twin Fangs, Yurt the Silent Chief, Saint Urbane, uh, Skurvy the Wanderer, the Sick Saint Astraea with her knight Gal Vinland, Gal, yeah, and Sage Frake the Visionary. So I guess they're going to be the big bads of the what were the six regions? We we, we haven't managed to level up just yet. Um, the the lady who resurrected us, I guess. Stay offline. Now. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know if we just. Cool. Right, we are in the same bit. Thankfully. Now, um, I'm tempted to turn the motion blur off when I was editing the videos. Did seem. A little bit too much. We'll, we'll turn it down really low. And see if that, that just makes things a little clearer. Right. I know our motion blur is, is an artistic thing. Um, was his name Os Ostrava? Right, so uh, this is a bit of a dead end now, I think. So we can... I think there was another fog wall. Is it up here? Yeah, there was a fog wall up here, so we'll go through that one. Got quite a lot of souls, but we do have some disposable souls that we can maybe use to level up if we need to. Yeah, there's a fog wall here. I don't know if this is a boss fight. But the only way to find out in these games is to find out the hard way. I think we should have it on half moon grass by default. Right, recording check, we're okay. <laughs> let's let's go. Okay, not a boss. A valley. Where we can see another castle. <laughs> we are overburdened, obviously. Oh, there's a dragon. <laughs> Are these things going to fall on me? Ah. I see. A bowling alley. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The tables have turned. Okay, that is worrying. Did you guys hear that screaming? <laughs> oh no. Right, now just because we killed everyone doesn't mean there's not going to be more ambushes. Have you seen me? Whistling blade. I'm very surprised I uh, cottoned on to that. Very surprised. <laughs> right, so we've got I don't know what what colour would you call him? A blue dragon? Maybe he's like a magic dragon? I can hear him. Okay, this this is a bit ominous. Feeling <laughs> a little worried. And that air uh, ring we found is doing wonders for our health though, right? What was it, the, the cling ring? 
Now I've got two and a half thousand souls. Someone's waiting up here for us. Spearman! <laughs> Terrible! Double Spearman! Don't appreciate it. Enough of this. Yeah. I guess that's the big change you have to get you. No, it's not a change. This is how it originally was. But being locked in place while you heal, that changes things massively, right? Right, now we've seen a dragon. So we need to be a little wary of open air spaces. So let's maybe s stick to cover here for a little while. Yeah, look, things are on fire. Yeah, the dragon is probably passed over there. Oh, we've got flies buzzing around, maybe some pestilence. Mm -hmm. Is that the dragon? Some arrows in the ground here. That's a different dragon. Okay, definitely don't want to be out here doing it. Lots of items there. <laughs> Blue and red over here. I'm not even leveled up yet, guys. I'm not coming down there. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, sounds like there's one over this side as well. God. Right, double dragons, best friends. I've uh, not moved the camera a lot. Yeah, I'm thinking I probably should move the camera to the other side, actually. Yeah, because I noticed while I was editing that the items were... You couldn't really see what some of the items were, so... I guess we'll... Uh, go on this side. In my natural state. I, d I don't think there's anything else that comes under the health bar, but I could be wrong. Let's just try it there for a bit. I'm too used to it being flipped. Alright, big open area. Axeman. Yeah, there's a, there's a dragon coming here, man. Don't fool me, game. Look, there's a dragon on my shield. There's a dragon coming, guys. I feel it. Why else would they just be waiting? Kill them all! Oh. There's a bit of an anti-climax. Red! Come back, Red! No, oh, this is terrifying. Thanks for the help. Oh. Is he just going to hang out here?
Well, we're going to have to cheese it here. In the words of Bender. I think the threshold was just about here. Cheese it, lads! There's a dragon, you fool! Ow! How did these guys stay alive? I'll let it slide. Pull the lever. What does this do? I'll pull it in a second. Let's just see what's down here. Alright. What the hell are you doing, man? Are you the merchant from before? Don't appreciate that, buddy. Oh, nice. Pine resin, nice. Fire for our weapon. Uh, I don't know if illusory walls are a thing. Demon souls. I don't want to sort of start smacking every wall we come across. But that sounded ominous. Hello, spearman. <laughs> Bit low on stamina. Let's get him in the corridor. It's good practice for red face. They've got really uh, intimidating looking eyes. Hey, friend. How dare you attempt to kill a knight of Bolotari. Okay. Oh, is that slime? No, it's got a shield. What the hell, slime? This, the slimes have leveled up. I think we should go and pull that lever before we get too far away from it. Sorry. Stupid shelves. Right, what is this going to do? This might have been a mistake. Oh, it's a shortcut. Maybe. So that's back at the entrance, right? And there's something weird in there. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Why would you do that to me? Oh, Jesus. I don't appreciate that at all. <laughs> this game, these games are scary enough to navigate as it is. Right, we're on about three quarters on our weapon durability. Can't remember when the, where the threshold is. Right, now, if this is a slime like previous games, they're usually quite vulnerable to fire. So, um... Some pine resin? Or fire bombs? Yeah. Damn it. Get the pine resin on there. They've not been poisoned yet, so let's just cast that from our mind. And don't use it with a wooden weapon, thanks. Thanks for that. Now we might not be able to level up until we are like human, human again. That was close. A draggling shield. Come on, mate. I don't want to trigger the slime. Slime with a shield, though. See if we can get him to jump off the edge. Yeah.
All right, slime. I don't like you. you what the? Yep. Okay. Previous Souls experience helping me out there. Vulnerable to fire. Got you. Is there another slime? I'm just pressing R3 to lock on. Now, slimes do fall from the ceiling, so we've got to be wary of that. At least they do in the other games. There's another slime. But they, it like launched some uh, spikes at me. We haven't got many fire bombs, so I do have to be a little careful here. Should maybe use some pine resin. Is that the guy who fell off, maybe? Might be another shortcut down there. Let's just have a look in here first. Cool. So we've unlocked that door. Which, oh, which is a boss fight, clearly. It's a fog wall. Cool. Okay, so we've got pretty easy access to that if we die now. That's helpful. The hero soul. Beautiful. That'll be worth a pretty penny. I don't, I, I'm going to presume we can't level up until we regain our um, soul. Or our corporeal existence. <laughs> a little harder to dodge than, cro than the crossbow bolts. There's another one, we need to get it quick. Oh, oh nice! They drop uh, upgrade materials. Half moon. And some sort of shortcut. Cool. Was that everywhere? Oh, no, 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 no. We need to go back to red face at some point. I would rather level up, though. Look at this thing. Is that what we've got to expect in this place? Okay, this is covered in slime. It had the same shields on it that those other slimes did, so it looks like we're in for a slime boss. So maybe we're going to get poisoned. Right, so should we try and head back to the Nexus? Could do with repairing our sword at the very least. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'd like to think you'd be able to level up without being, like, you know, normal again. Alright, so the two places we've not explored here is obviously the dragons area where they're camped. Camped. And where red face is. And we've got shortcuts and able to get to both of those places now. Uh, was there anything back here? Oh, right, cool. I didn't look behind me. What an error. Excellent. Oh, and isn't there an area down... down there as well? Maybe you can just jump straight down there. Let's just have a quick look, actually. Yeah, a bit suspicious. I think the dragon's going to come over there. Does not open from this side. Yeah, we've not really spotted a natural way of getting down there. Maybe just jump over the edge. Maybe. Maybe that's what the crows signify. It's just mighty suspicious. There's something down there. Something weird. Maybe we'll, we'll head back to the Nexus. See if we can level up. We might not be able to until we defeat like a, an important boss or something. But that wasn't too bad getting through there. It was only Redface and the dragons that were the major threats. 
Don't know what's going to happen to Oz, whatever it, Ozzy, whatever his name is. Right, so. Right, so th this sacred space, which holds together the northern land of Boletaria, connects all other archstones across the earth. The old one is contained inside the Nexus, where the monumental awaits the Slayer of Demons. Hmm. I wonder if uh, old Ozzy shows up here. Yeah, there he is. Mate, how do I level up? Seriously. Where is the lady? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? But it's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. We're welcome here. As long as we keep slashing up demons. <laughs> you came for demon soul. <laughs> we're well. <laughs> yeah, where is the the uh, the woman? Because she must be who levels the soul. This is a this is a problem. <laughs> Ozzy, how are you doing, mate? Before the blight, Boletaria was a grand kingdom. The king, his knights, and his subjects were modest and plain, but also steadfast and compassionate. I have spent much time in my studies in the cultured countries of the south, yet no country holds my heart as does Boletaria. But look at what has become of us now. I refuse to believe that this is what Father wished for our great land. Wait, so you're... Are you King Alant's son? Is that what you're saying? I refuse to believe that this... Sure. Where do I level up? Come on, this guy... Do I need to... no? Do I need to use a gesture? I've got a tool belt! Please! Level me up! Oh man, I can't kind of just carry around 3k souls. I must be missing something here. Like an idiot. Right, which one of you repairs? Oh, good day to you. Good day. I can forge weapons for you for a fair price. 500? What an absolute jip. Right, now I do have some uh, shards. I've got three, I thought you only had two. It's uh, a quality weapon, right? Whereas this is more of a strength weapon. The attribute bonus will go up the more we upgrade it, I imagine. Do come back alive. I would be happy to lighten your load. I don't think we need to get rid of anything. We can sell, probably just sell most Best of this. Best of luck so. to you. Right, come on, man. I just want to level up. I mean, maybe we need to defeat like an opening boss or something. Yeah, there was a strange woman down there as well, right? 
Like, I don't know. I don't. I can't imagine they would hide the person who levels you up like back here. I could be wrong. Where are you? Okay, she's still talking about Umbasa. Oh man. Oh Mbasa. Where is this chick? But yeah, I don't think she's gonna be Hiding up upstairs. Reveal yourself, please. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go take a swing at this boss. That's right. So it looked like like an alpha version of those uh, slimy shield things, right? Soul level four. Is there something really obvious I'm missing here? This is just like little tutorial messages, yeah. I don't think there was anything else in here. Striking place, though. Right? right uh, we'll go back and take on the boss. I'm just going to run up and check those little side rooms that were up up here, just in case. That's where we're supposed to find her or reveal her. I won't try and get that item. Even though it's tempting. Oh, this was like a multiplayer thing, right? Yeah. Just a way of checking your status. Well, how to level up will remain a mystery. Let's go. So we just need to take out these skeletons. Maybe after we've done this, we can try and hop over the edge. See what's going on down there. Probably something harrowing.
Oh, nice. Fire bombs. Nice, nice, nice. Big slime incoming. I should maybe equip the poison thing, but we don't know that we get poisoned yet. The phalanx. With lots of mini phalanxes. Oh, it's, it's closing the gap. I didn't even realize. Okay, that is very effective. It's like splitting up though. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, so they sort of reinforce it. Alright, that's my last firebomb. Maybe a bit too. Okay, careful, Matt. We've got cover with the pillars. We need to flank these things. is that? He was just chilling. Ow! Oh, damn it. I'm not, I'm opting to not lock on here. Don't roll, Matt. Don't roll, don't roll. Shiny. Oh, it's forming more of them. Oh, that was close. I can do a jumping attack. Ow. Right, is it is are we actually reducing the numbers here? Ow. I'm a bit worried I've not actually done anything to the actual boss, really. Ow. Top off our health. Coming for you, big man. Okay, the blob is just dependent on these mini blobs. resin. Yeah. Only 
two little blobs left, big blob. Nice! Ah, <laughs> yes! Demon vanquished. You shall obtain the demon soul. Bring more souls, slayer of demons. No way. First try. 5,000... Uh, no. Probably about 3,000 souls, because we already had 2,000. And we have regained our soul, or our humanity. <laughs> I'm hoping that means we can level up. Okay, that was pretty straightforward, right? We still have our little light light stone to help us get through. Alright, excellent. Lead de lead demon soul? Lead demon soul? The Lord's Path. Archstone of the Phalanx Demon. Past the huge gates of, Bolitar of the Boletarian Palace lies what is now a feeding ground for dragons, the Cliff Pathway, which leads to the inner, which leads to the inner ward where knights make their abode. Interesting. Let's go back to the Nexus. Hopefully, this means I can level up. Or maybe you can only level up when you've got a soul. Okay, we're getting a cutscene. Welcome back. The monumental awaits the above. Oh. The monumental. Not in that room I've been to. Will explain the nexus to thee. Hi there. That is an epic staff she's got. The monumental awaits the above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Okay. I'll talk to everyone else again after we come back down. Okay, pleasantly surprised how I dealt with uh, the phalanx. Maybe it was meant to be a, a touch easier. Then, uh, you know, that first guy who just destroyed us. Because it was uh, sort of a boss made up of normal enemies, wasn't it? It wasn't like a full-on boss. You want me to go up here, yeah? Oh. Right, I... Didn't think we were actually going to get to talk to someone. Hold the monuments for well, That's a hint. Is that like a hidden pathway? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, it feels very church like. Oh god. Are these all meant to be children? Horrifying. Maybe they're statues. Let's pretend. Yeah, I guess because this feels this uh, this sort of the way these mark engravings or markings look is uh, Elder Ring. I guess took some inspiration from this as well. I know there's lots of running three themes throughout all these games anyway. It's better be worth it, Monumental.
What? I thought <laughs> I was. I've come to see the monumental. Hello. It is I, Imlari, the evilest of evil bald guys. I have no idea where I'm going now. Stone of ephemeral eyes. Using soul form. Right. Sorry. Um, an eye stone on the verge of crumbling has the power to restore one's corporeal form. Really? You can only use in soul form. Once used, it crumbles into nothing. Okay, so these are like humanities from Dark Souls then. Or the humanities are like these. Right, so we don't always... Right, okay. Yeah. So, you either de if you defeat a demon, you can restore your... Um... Oh, it is, it is corporeal form. <laughs> Um. Hello. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, man. Right, okay, that helps then. I feel like we're supposed to be on this balcony here, but... Are you the only one left? There is a tale I wish to tell you. Go ahead. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul art. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless, deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to its slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls. Right. And most of the world, lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six leaders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet industrious land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowman. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed in the fringelands that survived. We contained the old one here below the nexus and prohibited the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, 
and only I remain. By the power of the monumental, the four sealed arch stones have been unlocked. Right, so just trying, sorry, just trying to make some notes now. Half living sentinel. <laughs> Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to bear this burden? Yes. Yes. We are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its soul, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. Yeah, that whole thing had, had a bit of a Tolkien vibe to it, right? I know that all fantasy games have a Tolkien vibe to them in a certain way, but you know, just sort of like the people who the arch stone bearers sort of like felt sort of seemed like ring bearers. Um, the old one feels a bit like Sauron, Sauron, right? Not in a cheesy way. I just mean, you know, one thing I've definitely felt just from playing the game for a few hours it feels like the story feels a little bit clearer than it has in some of the other FromSoft games that feel a bit more abstracted uh, this feels a little bit more um, well, a little bit easier to just under understand like immediately sort of the, the mission we're on right uh, which is cool we neutralize the old one and ban the soul arts then we spread the archstones, and in order to mend reality, monumentals we became. However, man's memory of history is ever short, and before long he repeated his mistakes. The monumentals perished, and the archstones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again roused the Old One. The Monumentals and the short-sighted... Okay. I'm really glad we found him. I've been running around here for ages. <laughs> Absolutely ages. You are not the Monumental. They are. Right, let's go and talk to uh, the wax woman. I don't know what we're supposed to call her. And we'll check in with everyone else, see if they've got any updated dialogue. Hopefully get to level up, spend all these souls. I'll uh, pop all of those disposable souls as well, see how much that what they're worth. Hopefully it says in the menu what they're worth. So I don't have to trial and error. I wonder what this, if there's going to be some sort of twist with these monumentals in terms of whether they, they're really responsible for this or something like that, I don't know. Brave soul for whom death is no fear. Pretty. Lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. Eye stones briefly connect diffused worlds. Should you lose your physical form, remember the eye stone. The maiden in black, right, the maiden in black manipulates souls with inhuman prowess. Her strength allows her to aid slayers of demons. Right, she just gave us some stones. I guess these are for multiplayer. Yeah. 
A blue eye stone, proof of the monu proof the monumental recognizes you as a true demon slayer. In death, your body is lost, and you assume soul form. And then can this be used to leave a soul sign? The soul sign is projected to countless disparate worlds, where you can be summoned as a phantom. Help the host defeat a demon to restore your corporeal form. And a white stone eye. A white mirror image of the other eye stones has the power to control summoning and send phantoms back to their original worlds, but without resurrecting their bodies. Also allows you to return to your old world your own world from a world to which you were summoned as a phantom, only without resurrecting your body. But I think that's all she gave us. What is it? Seekest thou the power of souls? Yes. Of course. After all, thou requirest strength. Go ahead. Touch the demon inside me. Touch the okay. Let these vagabond souls become thine own. Let's talk to myself. Yes. I am only here to tend to each flame. Hmm. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of right, the so we can finally get a description of the attributes now. So vitality increases health and it's item burden. Okay. Granted. Uh, intelligence increases MP and magic memory, so slots, I guess, for spells. Endurance, item burden, okay. And endurance increases stamina, equip burden, and some resistances, okay. Strength, attack power for each hand. Dexterity strengthens physical force and damage sustained. Okay, dexterity strengthens physical defense and damage sustained from falling. What? Oh, that's tied to defense. Are you joking? Why is dexterity tied to physical defense? Or is that purely to do with falling? Oh, that is a... That is a joke. <laughs> Interesting. I don't like that. <laughs> that's my immediate reaction to that. Magic power. Miracle power. Miracle memory and magic defense. And look, item discovery and some resistances. Right, that's weird. Why is uh, dexterity physical strength? Uh, physical defense, even. Yeah, look at that. That's bonkers. That just... Im that, that. I swear, it's not that way in any of the other games. Oh, no, our defense is going up with strength as well, though. All right, defense is going up with every single attribute. Whether that uh, has a cut-off cut -off point, I don't know. Right, so uh, how many levels can we get? Two, three, four, five, six. We can get six levels. Right, so I think what we should do is put four levels into strength so we can use that bastard sword uh, single-handed. Yeah, and then I'll put a couple into health. I think I'll do that. Art thou finished? Maybe. May thy strength help the world be mended. Right. So that means we should be able to use this. Am I really overburdened now, though? No, we're at 96. We were, we were already over, so... Let's just give it a quick test. Right, four hits is all of our stamina on a light attack. Okay, that's similar to a thrust. I don't think I have enough stamina to do it the second hit of whatever that is. Uh, uh. 
strange. Right, th then we'll have a look in our inventory. Can we not figure out how much these are worth? Alright, so we're best not getting rid of these demon souls because they can be made into weapons once we find a certain blacksmith, I imagine. We've got warrior souls. Oh, I do have a telescope, I need to remember that. Alright, 200. Two hundred and four hundred. So the next level was eight hundred, right? Thou seek then touch the soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost. Right, so we probably want to go into. Uh, so we're going to we're going to stick to the basics. So uh, let's just say we're going to get Vitality, Endurance and Strength 20 each before we start thinking about anything else. I'm not planning on doing magic, I'm planning on being a, a big tanky, tanky guy. So we've got the Bastard Sword now, so uh, let's stick one. So this is for our equipment load, isn't it? So We're going to need to pile some points into this as well. Next level is 850. Art thou finished? May thy strength help the world be mended. Now that's probably... So we'll only be able to get another 600 from those, so we'll save them. Thou see, then touch the deep. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Let's get our health up. Art thou finished? Yes, thank you, lady. May thy strength. I would be happy to lighten your load. If only something could be done to help her. Right, so I don't need all this stuff now, so. Um. Well, it's just. To you. Can I sell? It's a trade with your souls. I don't think I can sell, can I? Right, so he's got crescent moon grass, fresh spice, which I'm probably not going to need much. Uh, sharpening stones, which are very expensive. Need to sell some ranged stuff as well. Right, so I can spend those disposable souls to upgrade this bastard sword. So it's currently doing so that'll get us uh, another boost of ten. No interest, I can tell you. You're not going to last long here. All right, chill out. I'm, I'm about to come back. <laughs> Cheeky bastard. It's a trade. Your soul. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. You come back alive. I need you. Sorry, sorry. It's your souls. No, we don't need to upgrade armor unless it's unless it's an armorer who does that. I would be happy to lighten you. Right, so I'm just going to get rid of all this. I don't know if we can sell stuff. Hopefully, we can. Rest assured. Best of luck to you. Cheers, pal. Best of luck to you. And then I want to no. We want to put some luxury stuff in here. I 
I think pine resin should really go in there, to be honest. Sharpening stone. Uh, then... Let's not have that there. Cheeky throwing knife. And we'll leave it blank. Excellent. Right, what are we on? Like an hour and a bit? Let's let's have a little explore. We can try out our new weapon at least. Uh, hang on. What, are you still talking about Mbasa? Back in the time that I lived below Volataria Castle, King Alan left on some strange business, then returned with horrible demons in tow. Soon the land was ravaged by soul starved madmen. My spine shudders just to think about it. If I did not have my miracle stone shard, keepsake of my grandfather, I may not have survived. If I did not have my miracles. Right. Okay, so she's quite rel religious. Who the hell are you guys? You do not look trustworthy. You look like a thief. Oh, you must be another disciple of God. No, no. I too am on a quest to fight the demons in the name of the Lord. May I share God's power with you? Do not be bashful. We are both cut from the same cloth. Okay, miracles. A miracle is a heavenly act. Heavenly. Are the acts of demons. <laughs> the work of soul arts. They have similar effects. And yet, one is clearly evil, and the other is clearly good. Magicians, in the end, are mere servants of the demons. Okay, don't like magic users. A miracle is a have some magicians, in the end. Right, he's got a hidden soul. Hide one's self from black phantoms. <laughs> Evacuate. Send the user back to the Nexus. Heal and antidote. Okay. Oh, hang on. What? Um. Okay. I don't know if there's a, a restriction. I think the restrictions probably on the uh, talisman, right, rather than the spell itself. I see. You wish to train yourself in stoicism. Yeah. Very well. I pray we meet again. You a disciple? I have sinned. <laughs> I swore allegiance to Saint Urbane, but was of no use to him. And now I have run away and abandoned his augustness. I think that haircut was the sin, mate. Let's be honest. Oh, Lord, punish me. For I have not the strength to punish myself. A ball cut and a soul patch. That is punishment enough, friend. Oh, august one. I hesitate to imagine your present state. Deep within the darkness, where no light shall ever shine, will you continue to pray, even in such misery? Sure. Right, uh, we need to have an explore then. Because there might be some... More people. Some new recruits. Oh, hey. Magicians on this side, I take it then. An arrogant looking magician. Are you here to face the demons? If so, please free Sage Freight the Visionary from his cell in Latria. I will help you however I can. I can teach you elementary spells. Sage Freak is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have not the power to save him alone. Master Freak is a great man who has systemized the magic of the soul arts to make it possible for human imitation. By observing the state of Boletaria and the demons within it, he is likely to pave the way 
for greater things. All the more reason that I must meet Master Frake as soon as possible. Now, obviously, we we heard about. I was just checking my notes. Master uh, Sage Frake is mentioned in the opening cutscene. Saint Urbane. Right. Soul arrow, flame toss, enchant weapon. A familiar prank, generate a loud sound elsewhere. Cloak, become hidden, protection, water veil, fire resistance. Nice. I see. Suit yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, go and find. Um, Ostrava? See you around. No? I don't know where he's gone. Alright, yeah, let's uh, head back to Volataria, try out our new sword. When we come back next time, we'll try and make sure we find Os uh, Ostra Ostrava? Ostrava. There's a YouTuber, I'm sure, who used to do Dark Souls speedruns, who was called a version of that. That's why I keep getting my words crossed over. So I could technically go to these now, right? Yeah. Stonefang Tunnel, Archstone of the Digger King, a city of miners who maintain the giant tunnel. Long ago, the efforts of the hard-headed burrowers allowed Volatarian soldiers to carry out their work. But now, dispossessed of their souls, they have no thoughts of their own and work in silence, tirelessly, and without purpose. Now let's head back to the Lord's Path. See what awaits us in here. See if there's a bit of a difficulty spike or something. Who knows? Uh, I do need to jump down over there as well. I need. I'll, I'll try to remember that. In fact, let's do that now. It means we can try out our sword. Uh, how did I do that jump attack? No. Oh. They call me the bastard. Our stamina needs some work. Right, I just want to see if we can actually jump down here. Whoops. Feels like we should be able to, right? Oh, is that a crystal lizard? It must be. I wonder how you get over here then. Is it from where the dragons are, maybe? Oh no, there is a doorway where you can get down here. Okay, fine. 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 It's worrying having a finite resource for the healing, that's I've got to be honest. Okay, weapon's a bit slower, so we've got to keep that in mind. Scared me a little. Oh, for God's sake. Ah! 
I don't need fire then. Just gotta get behind the slimy bastard. Cool, they drop upgrade materials. I don't need to lock on. Nice. Let me past. Yeah. That is not the way. Behind him. Lots of shards. Excellent. Uh, I'm worried these dragons are going to show up again. Let's pop one of those. I hear rats. Hello? You, yonder. Oh! Over here. It's me, Ostrava. Look at me. Again, fenced in by enemies. Could you assist me one last time? Clear out the soldiers blocking this passage, if it please you. The Lord's Path, just over there. Is now a feeding ground for dragons. Oh. Have your wits about you. God's sake, man, why'd you keep putting yourself in these situations? Hey, was there a path off to this side as well? No, no, I thought that was a door. Sorry. Okay. How do I get to you down there then? The dragon come in, crows. Fuck! Oh! Oh, that is cool. Run! Greed! The greed! How much health you lose? Interesting. Is this where Oz Ozzy is? I wasn't expecting this down here. Yeah, this must be where he is. Okay, this is really eerie down here. This is really eerie. 
Hey! God's sake. Now he's going to try and push me in. Yeah, that's a strong wolf. You gotta use shields against dogs. Traditionally. In Souls games. It's shields in normal ones and then the gun in Bloodborne for hounds. Oh, Christ alive, this is bad. Oh, where's my voice? Okay, they're not too bad. I thought I could poise through, but I guess not. I don't even know if poise is actually a thing in this. Hi there. You need to get some faster crossbow bolts. Is there someone around the corner? Oh, is it you again, that merchant? He patches, basically. Ah, oh, we meet again. Fancy that. Hope you find something that suits you. You must be patches. I'm not, uh, I'm not fooled. Oh, a big claymore. A broadsword. Oh, broadsword, no. This is what we want right here. A very large sword, similar to a straight sword. It's a versatile weapon, but its weight means it usually requires the use of both hands. The smashing overhead attack greatly depletes the target's stamina and easily breaks their guard. I want this. Can I get this? Can I have a discount, please? It is the end of Great Boletaria as we know it. But hell... At least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> this must be Patches considering how he stood. I feel like he's going to be upset if I don't at least buy something from him. Thanks for that. Right, I'll be back. So maybe this is a safer way of getting around the dragon. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, fog wall. It's a good job. Good job. This these crossbow bolts don't deplete my stamina. <laughs> right, this is a fairly chunky looking fog wall, so I'm going to go back because I feel like Ozzy is uh, down here, right? So we'll do some backtracking. There was a, a path back here as well, so 
Oh no, we can now carry more than 20. Nice. Did not know. So maybe it's just 99 we can carry of all of them. Right. So good to know, we don't have to do the, the dragon gauntlet. We can just come down here instead and fight some enemies to get around him. So that's where we came in. So I imagine Ozzy is trapped back here, right? God, that dragon is terrifying. Hello, Mr. Ambush! I am not fooled. Yeah, really surprised that the crossbow bolts don't deplete stamina. Look at them backing into the shadows. Clubbed to death. A gash res. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. A gash resistance ring. Got you. Not funny at all. Right. Resistance to bleeding. Suffering. <laughs> Wearing a bright red seal. Increases resistance to bleeding. Crafted by Jerry. Known for his magical handicrafts and close acquaintance with Sage Frake, the visionary. The seal depicts a gash. Yes. Yes, it does. Ozzy! man -made. A blue knight curious. Thank you. That's twice now. Yes. Time to forge ahead. This is a token of my gratitude. Please accept it. Cheers, boss. Dark moon grass. Fully heals as well as... Oh, cool. Um, now we've got some armor. So we're wearing the fluted armor. 34. Oh, this isn't even as good. Probably looks cool, though. No, it's, it's worse in every department. It's just light, a bit lighter, I suppose. That's a shame. Hope he doesn't go and get himself killed now. There's still a dragon out there, Ozzy. Crap, where did he go? Now, there was a higher staircase, wasn't there? single person left. Why on earth? How did this happen, noble father? It's a good job we've cleared everything out at least. I wonder if he can just die. That would be bad. That dragon is, is pretty awesome. Dude. I don't have anywhere near enough souls. So. Right, there was a, a staircase that went a little higher. But we'll just try that as well. If the dragon doesn't kill us up there. Two for one. Cool. Nice, a short bow, heavy arrows, and grass. Oh. 
<laughs> How sick is that? I'm gonna dice him with death here, let's keep moving. That fog ward must just lead over here, so. Let's uh, top off our health. Right, we, we are going to have to make a room for it on this one. Oh no! Oh no! Sick of you, mate. Quick! Oh, triggered you as well, have I? Okay, so he gets a block. Got one. Eat it. Wow. Oh. I was I, when he, when they cornered me then I thought I was toast. Full moon grass. Oh, that's a bigger fog wall. Right, nice. Just all grass. <laughs> all right. Well, I've got a decent amount of souls. Oh, we can open that. Damn it! Classic. <laughs> right, we can probably go and take out those. Oh god, look at the time. I can hear a twinkling. Is that a crystal lizard of sorts? No stamina, little bit. I've got no stamina. Why have you got so much health? Large hardstone shards. Do I get to pull on this? No. Yeah, we've still not gone back for red face. I I appreciate it. Oh. 
Oh, you idiot. Nice. A renowned warrior soul. Got treasure trove up here. Nice. Okay, is that a hint? Are we about to get poisoned in this place? Dead end. Alright, this is a fairly significant looking fog wall, but it's this hell of a run to get back here if it is a, it can't be a boss if it, with this kind of run to get here. I don't know, let's not <laughs> underestimate the cruelty of from software. Yeah, how do you get to this door then? Down there, clearly. Alright, alright, alright. This better not be a boss. What was that? Right, I think we need to take the arches down. First and foremost. How do we get to the arches? Aha! I don't need to be getting shot by these little urchins. Oh, I'm trying to deal with an impossibly large enemy. Look at him. I love that shield though. Where's the big where's the uh, big boy? Okay, we, so we get a partial block. Do we actually have to fight him. Because that is nuts. Can we see where uh, the big guy went? Um, you know. Tower Knight is the big guy. I mean, um, the, the guy with the top hat. Jesus. Do we actually have to fight him? Like, we don't just... We're going to have to go and tickle his feet. Are there any other arbalists? I'm going to top off my health, because... Why wouldn't I? Just trying to look around for any other arbalists. Yeah, that was lucky. That went through my shield. Are you joking? Yeah, I 
somehow didn't get hit by that. Okay, so that's got like a, a hole in it now. Stamina. Right, we need to make him leap, it seems. No, no, lock onto his feet, man. Oh, that one's damaged more, then. Yeah, that's bad, Matt. Nice. He's leaking. Okay, we can we can absorb this. As long as we have enough stamina. That was that was really greedy. I'm sorry. Oh! I can't take much more of them. Yeah, the, his spear goes through my shield. Joking me, man. Oh, that was close. Tickle him. Too much tickling. Uh oh. Damn it. Gotta stay close. Okay, nearly had my shield down then. Oh, I'm sick of that, man. I'm dead. Just gotta get close, gotta get close. I don't think I need to do heavy attacks. Oh, come on. Ah, I'm really low health. Gotta be careful. Stop knocking me over, man. Oh, that was foolish, man. You could time it better. Man.
That was a, a, a greedy heal. We're doing it now. Ow. Top off our health. Okay. I, I don't know if he's going to have like a full on other phase. I don't know. Sorry, the camera angles are a bit wonky now. We've got good windows to heal at least though. Stamina recovery is really slow. Get out the way! Okay, one more should do it, man. Just gotta maintain our composure. I should have realised to go two-handed with my sword sooner. Nearly got him. No way! Yes! Come on! 8,000! <laughs> yes! What? <laughs> what accurately reflects my emotions? Confidence. Don't know what that was supposed to be. I don't know where the uh, big chubby guy went, but with the top hat. Yeah. Yeah, just be having the shield just makes all the difference, right? I think that that, you know, if you if I had to panic roll there, it just completely changes changes it, right? If you have to try and roll past all those attacks, you got that. Yeah, it's all about the shield. An iron demon soul. The inner ward. Archstone of the Tower Knight demon. Inside Boletaria's gates, where the streets intertwine, lie traps set by the much-reviled fat officials, <laughs> themselves living proof of old King Alant's madness. The fat officials, right. Right, let's go spend these souls. Excellent. Ooh, oh, oh, why did I travel? I should have gone and bought the uh, that sword. Oh, Matt. Oh, you idiot. I had a clear run. Oh. That is upsetting. 
That, that, that was it was six thousand souls for that sword that Patches had, right? I'm gonna call him Patches because I think he's Patches. Have you met the last surviving monumental? Those fools revived the old one on a whim, and now they've trapped us here in the Nexus in a desperate attempt to undo their mistake. It's all a travesty, if you ask me. Well, you found yourself a demon soul, did you? I'm impressed. Yes, indeed I am. Stay the path, and you will soon be a monster yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you see? You've fallen for their trap. Pretty much. Hey, Ozzy's here. Hello, friend. Here in Boletaria, we speak of the legend of the two swords and the solitary hero. The two swords are Demon Brandt and Soul Brandt. One sword banishes that which befouls man, and the other banishes man himself. Right. The solitary hero is old King Doran. King Doran is the everlasting one, founder of Boletaria and protector of the two swords. <laughs> of course, only according to legend. But in the dark state of our land, sometimes legends are all we have. Yeah. King Alant led Boletaria with a round table of the bravest knights. The noble twin fangs, Valifax and Bjor. Oh, the dragons. Alfred, the tower knight. Oh, Metis, right. the penetrator. And okay. the brave tribesman, Longbow Ulan, and his fearsome legions. Longbow. Don't like the sound of that. But today, Boletaria is an abysmal mess. Valifax was lost, and Bjor slipped through the fissure, never to be heard from again. All the rest, along with Boletaria, are either devoured by the fog or fallen afoul of the demons. The Boletarian knights are no longer, but perhaps our age will see the rise of new heroes, such as yourself. You can only hope. I guess I'll uh, stick with the bastard sword. Um, we'll find wait till we find something else. Because yeah, I've already upgraded it once, right? So. But perhaps our age will see the. Let's hope, Ozzy. Let's hope. Right, I'm gonna level up and then we'll end the video there. I've let it go too long. I should have perhaps finished after we met the, met the monumental. Uh, let's just repair first. I can forge weapons for you. Sick. What the hell? You got any new gear? God. Uh. Oh, you can downgrade it. Yeah. Yeah, we've got the shards. Oh no, I don't. Now you sell some of them, don't you? No. Absolutely not. You come back alive. I need your business. Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Then touch the demon inside me. Soul of the mind. Right, how many so, uh, levels? Maybe nine? One, two, three, four, soul five, six. Six levels. From its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be. So I'll put three in vitality, three in endurance, I guess. One, two, three. Three, two, three. Yeah, makes sense. Round us out a bit. Uh, our equipment load will be. Re yeah. And then we need another 2,000 to get another level. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. Art thou finished? I am. May thy strength help the will be mended. Right, equipment load. We're at eighty-seven percent. Is the 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 threshold usually like seventy? So we're we're a good ways off that. Um, 
Well, I, I'm happy just playing as a, as, as a blocker, right? Uh, because it, I think that this actually... I'm happy, I might be happy to play the game without rolling. <laughs> That's probably not going to work, right? I imagine we're going to run into some faster enemies. Like, uh, but yeah. Man, it's, it's mad how much... Um, I think I would... If I was playing this as a dex, dexterity character, I think I would, would be struggling with the with the rolls. I just feel like my past experiences with like Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 playing through as a more like Katana sort of quicker character. And I just don't think I'm good enough to, to play, you know, with, with the roll timings. I can do it, but like, it, I think it just makes it more challenging. I think using this defensive stuff just really leans into what I prefer. I kind of like standing still a lot more. Um, which is why I think I just really enjoyed it in Elden Ring. As a first-time experience, it just felt—I felt like a like all turtled up, just felt all safe. So yeah, I'm enjoying that. Um, hopefully, we'll get some cool armor, a cool shield, another sword or something at some point. Uh, but we'll pick it up from here next time, guys. Two bosses down, zero deaths. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. So yeah, that that tower knight is 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 probably one the one boss I've maybe seen a little bit of. Uh, you know, maybe seen in like a video essay or something along those lines or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's probably the only thing I've maybe seen a bit. Of. I'm not, I'm not seen that phalanx before though. Um, that was pretty. Uh, it was pretty straightforward though, right? Um, both boss fights seem to have minions around them, right? The the tower knight had all those arbalists, and the phalanx well was surrounded by all those slimers, uh, the shielded slimers. So yeah. Right, well, we'll pick it up from here next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember, everybody, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you next time.